Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the HJC i90 modular helmet available at RevZilla.com. So the HJC i90 is replacing the IS Max in HJC's lineup for modular helmets. So this is your mid-tier modular helmet. It's gonna sit right underneath the ARFA 90, and the ARFA 90 helmet is definitely getting you up into more of a premium experience. Uh, get up into a composite shell, it's gonna be a lot more money, it's gonna have more of that streamlined, kind of almost like that race style shell that you see within the ARFA line. So this is gonna be coming in around the sub $200 mark, around the $180 price point. Um, and then when you get up into larger sizes, it does bump to around the $198 price point. But for those of you that want a modular helmet, but you wanna keep it sub $200, this is definitely one for you to consider within HJC's line. Polycarb shell, two shell sizes. You now have a shell that's gonna be the smaller shell, it's gonna run from extra small up to large and then you would go from extra large up to 2XL. Now there will be uh, sizes 3XL and 5XLs coming out. We don't have the information on those just yet, but they will be coming down the pike as well for those of you that have a larger head. DOT ECE rated. Now the one thing to note, typically when we see HJC go above 2XL, so 3XL, 4XL, and 5XL, those will just have a DOT rating. So something to keep in mind as you, uh, as you look at the larger size range for this particular helmet. Two intake vents, two exhaust vents, and what you're gonna notice is that the venting on this is one of the major changes that we've seen from the IS Max. Three pounds, 13 ounces in a medium, weight hasn't changed too much, intermediate oval head shape. And what we mean by that, a little bit longer front to back, slightly narrower down the side of the head. It's gonna work for the majority of riders out there in the American market. And if you're not sure exactly what head shape means or how to size up a helmet, just keep in mind that uh, we do have the helmet sizing guide. So make sure you check out that video if you have any questions as to how to get yourself sized up in the right shape helmet for you. And as always, RevZilla does have that price match guarantee, so you are always guaranteed to get the lowest price for those of you out there shopping for that sub $200 modular. Now on the table next to me, I have got the outgoing IS Max, so we can see these two helmets side by side, and we can compare them from the top down so you can see exactly what the main differences are. Now the first main difference is the shell. The shell is completely new. If we spin these helmets sideways, what you'll notice is that the modular setup on the old helmet actually had a different mount for the face shield than compared to the pivot. So the face shield had its own pivot point, and then the actual modularity had its pivot point as well. So the problem with this, it was clunky, added you know extra bulk to it, and it cut down on the aerodynamics. So this helmet was less aerodynamic. The biggest change that HJC was going for with the new i90 is they wanted to make it quieter, more streamlined. They realized that the person wearing this helmet is probably tackling long distances, maybe doing some touring riding. So the whole goal was to make it more comfortable and cut down on wind noise. And by taking that pivot point off the old one, you now have one main pivot point that is also the same pivot point for the face shield. So if you need to adjust anything in there, the face shield can come off. You can adjust the, uh, the modular chin bar with that. Not something really you'd ever have to do. But the real story here is this is now sleek and streamlined for less wind turbulence while you're riding. The face shield has also been updated. Pin lock ready face shield. Thicker, better gasket, really nice solid face shield with this. And then as you're looking on this, you do have the two intake vents and this has been changed. The top vent is actually pushed forward a little bit more for better ventilation coming through, easier actuation. And you now don't have the, uh, the internal sun visor adjuster on the top of the head. If you look at the old one, one of the main complaints that we heard from a lot of riders was that the internal uh, sun visor, you had to reach all the way back, you had to slide this up. There were three different positions to slide it to. It was kind of clunky to get it to go back down. Um, so they changed that. And they went to a regular just side adjust for this. So as far as that internal sun visor goes, you have this one little side adjuster. Now, the only downside here is that if you wanted to mount a comm system that wasn't the proprietary HJC comm system, you have to mount it a little bit further back. You could still do it, um, or you can just go with the, uh, the HJC Smart system, which is designed to be integrated into the helmet itself. So 
That's the only real nitpick here is that, you know, HJC has designed this to be used with their proprietary system, um, which is designed in partnership with Cena. What we've really seen is that the uh, Cardo systems have really been taking off uh, from a technology standpoint. So if you do want to mount an alternative system to this, you're just going to have to mount it a little bit further back to make sure it doesn't interfere with that mechanism. But I like the fact that this mechanism is a lot easier to use than what we saw with the previous version. And it also streamlines the helmet. So you don't have the extra big mechanism on the top to catch all that wind. This cuts down on noise. So again, that's really the name of the game. Everything you're gonna see as far as changes go really help to give you that experience. You're gonna take this from the back. You're gonna see the exhaust vents are more streamlined. They're thinned out. You've got two that are in line, whereas in the other side, you had two that are a little bit more spread out. I think I like the exhaust vents from the, from the side perspective on this a little bit more, but I like the aerodynamics on the new one. Um, just keep in mind that, that venting, as we take a look at the inside, um, I wouldn't mind if there were some extra little vents down along the back just to help with the exhaust vents. But again, just uh, some minor notes to, uh, to consider as you're choosing which helmet is right for you. Taking a look at the inside of this, the first thing you will note is they have drastically beefed up the uh, the cheek pads where they kind of come down around your chin. And this is the final time that I'm gonna, don't wanna drop that one. This is the final time I'm gonna give you a comparison. You can see they've really done a great job of actually cutting down the size of the, uh, of the space. Now, because it's a modular, still very easy to get on and off, but you now have these cheek pads that come down, they cover around where your chin sits, and this is gonna help cut down on wind noise. So again, making it a much quieter helmet. Let's go ahead and open the modular part of this just so we can easily work to the inside. The chin curtain is removable and it's simple. It's just a little piece of Velcro. I like the Velcro they used, nice beefy, a little bit of felt as far as the chin curtain goes. You can take that out if you don't want to. I don't like using a chin curtain, but there's a lot of people that really do because it helps to cut down on wind noise. So taking a look at the inside of this, you're gonna have double D ring and then you're gonna have these cheek pads that run through the actual strap itself, snaps to get them out, and then just give it a good tug. So the three snaps you'll see there, and then you're just gonna pull out along the side. Now, the one thing you'll note is that once you pull these out, nice contoured cheek pads to the side of this, you are gonna have those speaker cutouts on the inside. Now, the one thing that's been added to this is that in addition to the speaker cutouts, you're gonna have little areas where the cables can run that are cut into that liner, so it helps to add comfort when you're wearing this. So, let's pull them both out. <clears throat> and you can see how the, uh, the straps go through the cheek pad, so you have this little piece of, uh, of felt that kind of like runs down and adds to the comfort of the helmet itself. Taking a look at the inside, removable liner, no snaps, you have a brow mount, Again, adding to the comfort, you have no point where those snaps could push against your forehead, and the back is just gonna pop right out as well. At the back, you are gonna have two little areas where it just snaps into place, but they're farther enough back that it really doesn't give you any kind of pressure points, and there's added foam along the base of the helmet itself. Cutouts for allowing that air to go through. But like I said earlier, taking a look at the inside, and solid job with like the intake vents, but really nowhere for the air to go. They're just those two channel cutouts are gonna be in line. I would love to see some better exhaust venting so as the air is flowing through, it has somewhere to go as it exits. But overall, if you're comparing this side by side to what was the iMax, I think HJC did a very good job of giving you updates that cut down on wind noise drastically and that are also gonna upgrade your comfort. And that's really what you're looking for if you're considering a modular helmet because chances are you're using this in a touring capacity. All day comfort and you know you don't want that fatigue of just having all that additional wind noise. And for a helmet that's coming in sub $200, I think this is definitely be a contender for you to consider. Now, if you want more information from folks that are already using the i90 or maybe some input from people that have used the IS Max in the past, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews. And as always, you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. They can help you get sized up with the right helmet for yourself. They can walk you through different options. And as always at RevZilla, we do have that price match guarantee. So you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the HJC i90 modular helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.